Now, before you sold all that stuff that we just described in 166, $600 million of Timberwolf securities is what you sold. Before you sold them, this is what your sales team were telling to each other. Got it? 105? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Look what your sales team was saying about Timberwolf. Boy, that Timberwolf was one shitty deal. Mr. They sold that Mr. Mr. shitty Chairman, deal. This email was from the head of the division, not the sales force. This Whatever was it was, it was a, it's, a the, internal, the, it's an internal Goldman document. This was an email to me in late June. Right. And you sold Timberwolf. No, no. You sold Timberwolf after as well. We did trades after that. Yeah. Okay. It's and the trades after. Some you, context. Yeah. Might be helpful. That context, let me tell you, the context is mighty clear. June 22 is the date of this email. Boy, that Timberwolf was one shitty deal. How much of that shitty deal did you sell to your clients after June 22, 2007? Mr. Chairman, I, I don't know the answer to that, but the price would have reflected levels that they wanted to invest oh, in. Oh, of course. At that they, time. But they don't know what's this. You didn't tell them you thought it was a shitty deal. Well, I, I didn't say that. No. Who did? Your people, internally. You knew it was a shitty deal, and that's what your and again, e email I, shows. I, I think the context, the message that I took from the email from Mr. Montag was that my performance on that deal wasn't good. And I think the, the fact that we had lost money related to that wasn't good. How about the fact that you sold hundreds of millions of that deal after your people knew it was a shitty deal? Does that bother you at all? You sold a customer something? I, I don't recall selling hundreds of millions of that deal after that. All right. If, let's, let's take a look. Exhibit 166. Series of emails. First is June 26, 07. That's after June 22. July 1, 2007, tells the sales force the top priority is Timberwolf. Your top priority to sell is that shitty deal. Mr. Got my it? comment was I didn't recall the sales. That you got it? That we One, six. trying to sell. Okay, you're trying to sell a shitty deal, and it's your top priority. Come on, Mr. Sparks. Well, Mr. Chairman. Should Goldman Sachs be trying to sell, and by the way, it sold it, a lot of it after that date, should Goldman Sachs be trying to sell a shitty deal? Well, can you answer again, that one? Can words, you answer that one, yes or no? There are prices in the market that people want to invest in things. I didn't use that term with respect to this deal. No, it's your sale. Well, who, who did use that term? Who's Tom Manta? Who's Daniel Sparks? I, that's me. Mr. And who's, who's Tom? Yeah, I know it is. Who's Tom Montag? Um, Tom Montag was the head of the division at the time. And he was telling you on June 22, boy, that timber wolf was one shitty deal. And then you got Exhibit 166, series of emails pushing the Goldman sales force to sell timber wolf securities. First is June 26, 2007 email from GS Syndicate. That's your sales force. The sales force is told in 166, please focus on the CDO axes below, one of which is timber wolf. The next email, take a look, July 107 tells the sales force the top priority is Timberwolf. The next email is July 24, 2007. Timberwolf is again listed as one of the top priorities. Next is an email, July 3rd, still after the shitty deal assessment, and one in which one of GS sales team leaders, Matthew Biber, writes that with regard to Timberwolf, I'm all over these guys. The last email, August 22, again highlighting Timberwolf as a top priority. So. If you can't give a clear answer to that one, Mr. Sparks, I don't think we're going to get too many clear answers from you, but I've taken much more than my time, and we're going to come back uh, to you and to the others on my second round and return to Senator Collins.